This is a quick review of fingertip amputation revisions using our 3D printed simulation models. Uh, the models here are designed to show a standard sized index finger with the distal phalanx and the bone exposed. For soft tissues, we use a silicone sleeve that can be easily placed over the top and then cut. Um, you can bolster this by adding gel of any kind underneath to give more soft tissue, but the silicone sleeve gives you an, uh, kind of a view of the overlying skin. When you cut the tip, you'll see that the silicone will retract, leaving the bone exposed. In this scenario, when you're looking at a finger that has been amputated in this way and the bone is sticking out, you do not have adequate soft tissue to close over the bone, so you will need to take a ronger to grind it back. These models are designed using PLA with a 20% infill to give a very accurate feel to bone. The hardness of the plastic feels very similar to grinding bone, so as you can see, you can take the rongeur and giving pressure, it'll give you a sense of crunching and indenting the bone, as well as breaking and removing in order to grind the bone back so that the soft tissues can be closed over it. Um, this will often take multiple bites and multiple attempts, but you can cut the silicone as needed to be a very small piece or a very large piece to give you an idea, a different feeling of how much bone you would have to resect, grinding down that distal phalanx. It will kind of splinter and break very similar to real bone. Once you've used the ronger to grind back the bone to the point where the soft tissues can be covered, then you can practice different techniques for closure. Um, one of the fun things about this model is after you've placed your sutures, you can take them out and do multiple attempts. You can first do simple practices where you're just doing simple passes over the top, and they can revise the edges if they have any dog ears, or you can do a V to Y plasty. And you can see that as we close the silicone over, it'll give you a very accurate kind of view of what it's like to close these um, amputations when they occur. You'll see the sutures in place. And as I said, you can try multiple different techniques. Here I'm showing what it would look like if we had placed a little, uh, uh, what we're using here is hydrogel, but auger, gelatin, or styrofoam can also be used to bolster out soft tissues. And when you take it off, you can see where the bone was amputated. Um, and of course, you can practice doing the sutures multiple times. If you like this video and want to see more, please follow my Instagram, uh, at Crouch Labs. Thank you so much.